Anyone who has ever looked at South America on the world map has certainly wondered about the very unusual shape of Chile. In its maximum width, the country measures only 117 kilometers, but in length over 4,200 kilometers. If Chile were located over Europe, it would stretch from the North Cape to Libya. It extends over a total of 38 degrees of latitude, which is why six of the world's nine ecological zones are represented there. For example, in addition to ice-cold subpolar zones, it also has deserts where it has not rained for 400 years. And Chile is a pretty unusual country in other respects too. So today we are going to take a look at the exciting history of this country and ultimately fathom the question of why Chile has such a strange shape. About 10,000 years ago, people first came to the area that is now Chile. They lived mainly in the north, where they primarily farmed, but spread as far south as Patagonia, where the immigrants lived primarily by fishing. And these groups of immigrants lived relatively peacefully, side by side for many millennia, until everything changed within a very short time starting in the 15th century. At that time, the Incas invaded the north of today's Chile. They were able to spread out further and further and penetrated far into the south. The original population was displaced to a large extent. Only in the very south, the Mapuche tribes were able to hold on and prevent the Inca from further advances. But the rule of the Incas only lasted a short time. For at the beginning of the 16th century, the colonial power Spain invaded South America and was able to completely defeat and wipe out the Inca within a few years. The conquistador Pedro de Valdivia finally crossed the Atacama Desert in 1540 and founded the present capital, Santiago. Chile then became part of the Viceroyalty of Peru and the mining of raw materials, especially gold and silver, began making the Spanish incredibly rich. The Mapuche in the extreme south of the country, however, continued to stand firm and won victories again and again against the colonial power that seemed overpowering. They knew the territory very well and the Spaniards had a hard time in this rough and cold area. Even though the Spaniards often drew their colonial empire in contemporary maps all the way to the south of Patagonia, they could never really conquer the territory. Thus, the Mapuche remained the only people in Latin America to prevail against the European colonial powers. They survived the entire colonial period and still exist today as an ethnic group in Chile. In the course of time, there have always been independence movements in Chile, which demanded a separation from Spain. However, this did not become reality until the beginning of the 19th century. Spain's power in Europe wasn't as strong anymore, and in 1808, Napoleon finally occupied all of Spain. So many provinces of the Spanish colonial empire took advantage of the situation and established their own governments which advocated independence. And this was also the case in Chile. But a few years later, the Spanish king returned to the throne and wanted to take back all the renegade provinces by force. The Chileans, however, had organized themselves well in the meantime and even formed their own army of freedom fighters. There were several battles in which the Chileans were able to prevail. And even though the Spanish king sent more and more soldiers, he was also defeated in the decisive battle near the capital and Chile became a formally independent state in 1818. But at that time, Chile did not have the extraordinary dimensions it has today. It comprised only the middle third of today's landmass. It was not until the end of the 19th century that it was able to gain the land area it has today. In the north, the so-called War of the Pacific broke out. At that time, Bolivia introduced a Salpeter tax for Chilean companies, thus violating existing treaties. Chile invaded Bolivia, which was allied with Peru. But Chile was able to defeat both opponents and annex large areas of both states in the subsequent peace treaty. Bolivia was thus completely cut off from the sea. And about the same time, the expansion to the south began. The Mapuche, who had defied both the Incas and the Spanish, were defeated. Argentina and Chile then divided the southern tip of South America between them. Thus, Chile grew incredibly in length, but never in width. The reason for this, however, is primarily a geographical barrier, the Andes. This mountain range, which runs through the entire country, represents an insurmountable hurdle in most places. On the one hand, this has prevented Chile from expanding eastward, 
But on the other hand, it has always represented a perfect natural defensive wall, making it very difficult to penetrate Chilean territory. So that was with the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, I can recommend you my last video. Enjoy it and see you next time.